So I think the biggest thing that we learned out of that last episode is that the AI is not afraid to form coalitions, which is something that we'd never seen really in other AI only battles. We saw a few coalitions pop up, but it was for, for only civs that were extremely weak. Um, the Mongolians and the Zulu are certainly not weak. The only thing that kind of messes that theory up, uh, the thing that kind of throws a wrench in that plan is that there's no coalition for the Huns. When they destroyed Russia, everyone was just like, hey, that, that's fine, we're not gonna say anything because I think maybe the Huns were a little bit too close to the Europeans uh, to wanna do anything about it. So for the most part, we're gonna really be focusing in on, on the Eastern region, the Eastern Asian region, uh, because you know this, this coalition, this massive coalition against Mongolia is forming just like we saw against the Zulu in, in South Africa. Uh, the thing, the difference here though, is that Mongolia actually has some foes. Uh, they're gonna have a lot tougher of a time defending their empire from someone like China and Japan. Uh, China's gonna be tough. China is really, really going to be tough. Uh, now I want to check, did, it looks like, uh, the Celts did settle Ireland. Well, good for them. They, I think they got their third city down, which is amazing. So it looks like, uh, China's not playing any games. China ain't playing no games. China's going straight in for the Mongolian capital. That's surprising. Uh, it looks like, I think, Mongolia is going to be distracted enough by Japan, where, look at this. This is all free territory. Mongolia is not defending their cities right now. So if China is smart about this, Mongolia will lose his capital, and that will be enough to probably even say he's done. I, I don't think he wins. The, although, you know, it is cultural victory, and all you need to do is steal away uh, really great works. But still, that's a huge loss. You lose your capital, even if you get it back. I mean, that's that's kind of an instant loss, to be honest. Uh, Washington, yep, I think America is going to be the next Civ to fall, unfortunately. And... Uh, yeah, so the Celts did settle Ireland. Good for the Celts. That, that's three cities. Man, Celts, are you going to be the new Florence? I mean, no one's going to be as powerful as Florence. Of course not. As I've said many times before, Florence, Florence is just waiting in, in, in a Death Star, ready to destroy this planet at any point. They're just allowing us to watch this. Uh, actually, Venice is uh, currently the uh, it's a little vassal of Florence. Because uh, they're in a spaceship part, and they've allowed us to watch this match. This Austrian settler has been like kind of just running around Europe for a very long time, trying to figure out exactly where they're going to settle. It's pretty funny. Uh, at the same time, sad. He's been, he's yeah, he's had some really really big troubles. So Portugal has landed in North Africa. I think they will probably grab this spot here. Um, yeah, they'll probably grab this spot here, unless of course Morocco steals it away from them. Another wonder by the Netherlands. Jeez. So let's see what our spy has discovered so far. What you got for me? So Attila is plotting, is secretly plotting against Egypt. Hmm. Very interesting. Hey, what, so what war, is there a war going on? I can't remember, but it looks like there might be. Polynesia's now joined in against Mongolia. Wow. Wowzers. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was, it was... I don't know, maybe, I, I don't, obviously the AI wasn't thinking this far in advance, but having Japan declare war first was so significant because Genghis decided to go all out and start to send troops from the north to try to land in mainland Japan. Uh, the problem with that, though, was that they completely left their empire open. But, China, don't be dumb. Move in there. Move in there. There's nobody but Kashyyyks, and the AI doesn't navigate Kashyyyks as well as a human player, obviously. Uh, also, Polynesia might be, uh, yeah, Polynesia's got some troops up here. Polynesia's not a pushover. Yeah, no, Polynesia is certainly not a pushover. Are there any more, uh, cities that have been settled? Korea's moving back down south. It looks like Korea might be going for Australia. They might be the first civ to make it to Australia. And who else do we got? We have the Aztecs once again going, do not go for South America. Settle in the Caribbean. Settle there, please. I, I don't I don't understand why why you wouldn't. And I guess let's say goodbye. So yeah, Austria and the Ottomans have also joined in against Mongolia as well as Polynesia. Uh, and we now have the Huns secretly plotting. Uh, it's, the Huns are pretty much secretly plotting against everybody. That's what I see. Oh, but you know what? Well, actually, you know what? This is not. Remember, I do not have complete kills on. So if the Shoshone do manage to take Washington, uh, the capital Washington here, then it doesn't matter if they have a settler out this way. They're dead. They're goners. Uh, it's it's going to be close, though. They don't have any reinforcements, so it will be somewhat close because they don't really have the melee units to do this. Depend depends on how much damage the sh this uh, Shoshone swordsman take. Yeah, that, that's really kind of what it depends on. I know that the 
the, the capital is going to bombard either the swordsman or the horseman. It depends. I guess either way, as long as you take, as long as they're hitting it with the composite bowman, then uh, the capital is going to have a tough time. A really tough time. And you, but you know what? It looks like they might be somewhat reinforcing. We'll see. There's a couple of uh, research agreements and public declarations of friendships that we cannot keep up with. Possibly, there's no way we could possibly keep up with that. Okay. Anything else that's going on? Let me just get a real brief overview of the world here. Yeah, so Austria hasn't moved. The Celts are doing even better than England, kind of. I mean, technically, at least their their cities are focused in. We've got Nottingham all the way in Siberia for for some reason. Uh, and again, Carthage looks like they're trying to attack somebody right now. I think Carthage are at, are at war with the Zulu. I think that's what's going on. Yeah, pretty sure they joined the, the coalition. Which is good because it'll distract the Zulu for a little bit. Uh, Babylon's got their own settler up. And we have also ba Byzantium. So everyone's trying to look for more spots. They just, they just don't know where to go for right now. Yeah, they have no idea where to go. Alright, let's go to the next turn. Let's continue to watch this war play out. So yeah, China is moving more and more in for that uh, Mongolian capital. When we have Polynesia setting up their force in Samoa. And then, yeah, these, these Mongolians are not going to be able to escape the Japanese mainland. I don't think. They're going to get taken out. And Japan's going to still have some remaining troops left. Uh, so they'll be able to attack whatever they want. Now, Siam, it looks like they got open borders through China. We might see multiple Mongolian cities fall if they're smart about this. Uh, it all depends on how smart they are about this. So it looks like they've got two ranged units and two melee units with an additional melee unit coming just in case. Um, is there someone? So, no, three melee units and two ranged. But the Mongolian capital has quite a bit of city defense, so it will be tough to take that down. It'll be really, really tough to take that down. Okay, yes, I entered a golden age. That's fine. We knew about that. Wait a second. No, I forgot about Alaska. So, no, uh, I keep forgetting that that's that, that city so distracting for us. So no, no matter what, America is going to survive, but he's going to lose his capital, and, and that's pretty much going to be game over. That'll be GG. Oh, yeah, the Shoshone are coming for reinforcements. There's, there's no doubt that, uh, that, yeah, that America falls here. The American capital falls here at least. All right, how's China doing? So Siam is moving up through their territory. Hopefully the si Siam's smart and, and doesn't... Well, actually, you know what? Siam might be attempting to steal away the Mongolian capital from China. This is going to be a tough city to take. They're not going to be able to take it. It's got way too much city defense. And I'm going to be freaking amazed if Mongolia survives this coalition. I will be amazed because you have just about every single Civ that has... That borders Mongolia at war with them. Japan, China, Siam, and Polynesia. I mean, who else could you ask for? Even India, the next closest civ uh, to to Mongolia, has, has joined in. The Huns and Poland have still not settled yet. Yeah, they still have yet to settle. And who else are you playing against the Huns? Uh, you're playing against Portugal. Okay, who settled Northern Africa? Oh, I guess nobody yet. Well, that's surprising. I know I saw Morocco and Portugal discovering territory down this way, but they didn't settle. Yeah, they did not settle. So someone's at war with Spain. I think it might be... I'm thinking the Zulu are at war with Spain and, and Carthage. Carthage is actually helping defend the city. Man, if if, if this Spanish city falls to the Zulu, oh, that's going to be bad. That is going to be the, the bad. So Assyria and the Ottomans have made peace with the Zulu. Yeah, they've made, they've made peace. Oh, man, Zulu. Oh, man. I mean, you, you, you're you so bad, you're so far behind in technology, that's the thing, that the more expansive you get, the worse your technology is going to be. Uh, it'll just be interesting to watch as, what are they going to do? They might be expansive, but they're going to be extremely uh, out to date, out of date, especially as they continue to expand. Yeah. So pretty much the Huns are playing against all of Europe, even people outside of Europe. You've got the Huns playing against uh, civs from the Middle East, just everywhere. Polynesia, you better start attacking. Uh, Japan has eliminated all the Mongolian troops in uh, in Japan in the J uh, Japanese mainland. It looks like Mongolia has has a shot of uh, of surviving this. Sur surprisingly enough, Mongolia possibly is going to be able to survive this. And I don't know why. Yep, there it goes. America's lost their capital. America's down to one city in Alaska. Very interesting. So the Shoshone are extremely powerful. Uh, Mongolia, Byzantium's decided to join in against Mongolia. The Shoshone are really, really strong. Oh, they did settle sh sh Chicago in Florida. Florida, Chicago. All right. 
Well, I don't know if that's going to stay around for a long time because I think the Shoshone are going to try to grab that away from you. Wow. Um, so you guys, the Iroquois, are going to need to start to defend. Jeez. And the Shoshone aren't even done yet. They're still going for it. They're still going for more cities with that settler up there. And, you're of course, you're playing against Korea. Did Korea settle? Uh, where did they settle at? Are they going? Yes, they are going for Australia. So Korea will make it first to Australia. Mm, surprising. China has backed up their attack. They're not going to be able to take over the Mongolian capital. The Huns have finally settled their city, uh, but, Pol uh, but Poland has not. Polynesia, on the other hand, uh, hasn't even begun their attack. Japan has taken the most damage in this war, unfortunately, uh, which I, I really give a lot of credit to Japan. Kind of declaring war first, and, and but they almost took the former Korean capital, and that would have been such a shock. That would have been a, a, just a really, really big shock. I think for most people. Okay, so what's going on here? So there goes a new Moroccan city. I don't know where that Portuguese uh, settler went at all. I cannot see him. He was in this area. Oh, here he is. He's inside of Athens. Oh, you are going for the middle of Asia. Probably not the best idea, to be honest. Probably not the best idea. Let's go to the next turn. Oh, Shoshone have let... They've let him off the hook. Oh... So wait a second, did you take it or was that taken from a peace deal? I think that was taken from a peace deal. Uh, just Washington gave that to him. Wow, the Shoshone are powerful. But I'm wondering if the Aztecs can stand up to them. See, the first thing right now, the Aztecs and the Iroquois need to make an alliance or the Shoshone are going to be way too strong. Way too strong. Um, so there's some wars or peace. I, I think Mongolia is going to surprisingly... Uh, make this they're, they're gonna last somehow they're gonna survive this and I, I have no idea how they're gonna be able to do this wow some guys got a lot of troops over this way they're thinking about something they're they're definitely thinking about something and let's see what we got here looks like did we get more incan cities no they're fine but we are going for an aztec settler so the aztecs are still trying to find a way to uh to expand since everything is kind of cut off from them from the north uh, I might kind of take this spy out at some point and put him in someplace else because we don't need... I know, the Huns are playing against everybody. I understand that. I realize that. Man, most of uh, Washington, the city of Washington, just look at all this stuff, been pillaged. That was a smart AI move. Usually the AI only pillages like a few... Oh, now finally, that was something I've been waiting for. Now, who declared the war? That was Rome declaring against Carthage. Now, this is going to be big. And you know what? I can't see this going to any specific sieve, really, to be honest. Uh, this is going to be close. You have, So you have right here Rome in their prime with their legions and their ballistas. Um, and you know what? But you know what? Carthage also has their own unique units. I don't see many of their boats, at least in the Mediterranean, but they do have their elephants. Their African forest elephants. Uh, wow. The Huns are playing against Mongolia. Whoa. Now, that's a cool one. How is the Polynesian capital doing? 13 citizens? Not bad. For an island city like that, that's not bad at all. Is Korea going for the uh, the natural wonder in, inside mainland uh, Australia? Like, right there in the middle? You might be. That might be the case. Siam is now trying their attempt at taking over the Mongolian capital. But I, I don't think it's going to happen. It's just it's just way too, mu too much city defense. They've built, I think, it looks like they've probably built some walls and maybe even a castle. I know that I can see the walls. It might be just walls, but I'm thinking a, a walls and a castle. If we, I'm pretty sure they can build castles. I think that they're at that technological level. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm going to stop focusing in on the Eastern Asian region. We'll check in every once in a while, but right now, this is a big one. This is a huge one, especially if Rome could take a city or if Carthage can take a city. Uh, either way, this is big. Now, the thing is, I think the problem is that Augustus is going to get distracted. Korea is pieced out with Mongolia. Uh, he's going to get distracted because you have a, f a small force from Fez trying to attack the southernmost city from Rome. So I'm wondering if this is going to halt his attack from taking Carthage. This is th They're way too close. I think these, these units, like number-wise, they're, they're too close. I think that, you know, if, if Rome isn't smart, Carthage could sit back, defend themselves, keep a hold of some of their units, and destroy a lot of the Roman legions and then later uh, take on their own attack for someone like Antium. This could give Carthage a lot of power. 
This could give Carthage a lot of power. I mean, this is this is insane. Uh, yeah, I'd be, I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised actually if if Rome loses this war. It's it's too close of a match, and you know what? I don't know what really Rome was thinking. He should have declared on somebody else, to be honest. Looks like the Netherlands grabbed away the top spot in terms of score away from Isabella. The Shoshone are at number three, though. Then the Aztecs at four. Wow. So right now, top five, there's only two European nations. Uh, three through five are actually natives that, uh, well, uh, countries, civs that have that played on either king or prince. So that's surprising. Again, score doesn't matter, but uh, it just means that they've got a lot of cities over there and or a lot of wonders. Which is the case, because the Shoshone have built their own, and they've stolen away one from, I think, uh, America were, got one up. Portugal, I have no idea what you're going to do with that settler, but you better figure out something. Because two cities is not going to be enough for you. Okay, so what do you do here? I don't, I don't know. Uh, Spain is pieced out with Egypt. That's probably a smart choice. Again, I'm wondering what Songhai is thinking. They might be trying to do their own war against the Zulu. Although I'm worried about them, this is this. Look at this land, completely undefended. But then again, you know the uh, strong militaristic civs, Carthage and Rome, they're at war with each other, so they can keep that stuff uh, undefended, and everything will be fine. Yeah, everything would be completely de de fine if that were to be the case. Uh, no one is pieced out with Mongolia. No one, at least in uh, close proximity, at least. Uh, and it looks like yes, Songhai has gotten up their cavalry. Anything else that's going down? Just a bunch of diplomatic relations. And we're going to see more and more of this as the game progresses. So it looks like there's no offensive. There's no one that's really taken the uh, the battle to the other person. It's really going to be a war between who loses more units and who can get other civs to join in on their side. Uh, Sunghai is a powerful force here. He's going go to go, uh, go to war with Spain. That's certain. Yep, and he's going to get a lot more powerful. And he's going to be able to block off uh, the Zulu for themselves, even if the Ethiopians fall. Then Sunghai can be the next choice here. Uh, anything else going on? There's a lot of civs that are looking for spots to settle, but they just they don't know where to go. A lot of spots, a lot of land is being taken over. I'm wondering if the Celts are going to continue to spread. I mean, they're doing a good job, and we actually might finally see uh, a war in the British Isles. We might finally see that. That would also be wonderful. That would be wonderful to watch. Uh, Shoshone have gotten up another settler. Jeez. Oh, the Shoshone are going to be tough. They're going to be tough to take down. They uh, they are certainly a sieve that I, I think that are surprising. You got you to gotta admit, I mean, I, I don't think a lot of people really... I think I think I know I saw a few people laugh at my pick of the Shoshone. Uh, but the Shoshone are going to be strong because there's no one over there to stop them. The Aztecs and the Iroquois have got to team up. If that if they don't, then it's going to be bad. It's going to be a long game for the New World. Um, and I'm wondering how the Shoshone are doing with culture. Probably pretty good right now. I mean, maybe right now. We'll have to check. We'll have to double check uh, who's generating which type of tourism, tourism and stuff like that. Uh, we should probably double check the Mongolian War too. The Mongolian Coalition War. How's it going over here, guys? So yeah, Siam's trying really hard, and they they tried they they're actually much more successful than China at is. Uh, you know what? Mongolia is trying to get their own offensive back at China. Polynesia has not engaged up north. It's unfortunate because if if the AI was able to orchestrate, ooh, oh my gosh, whoa, whoa. So that was just Spain and Ethiopia, though. I want to see Morocco join in, and that would be enough. But you know, that's still not going to be easy. Because Carthage Carthage still has units. That's the thing. Carthage still has a lot of units. Okay, Austria, that's fine. That doesn't mean anything. Is that the next coalition? Are we are we just declaring war on uh, non-Europeans? Is that That's what I see, Europe. That is kind of what I see. Hmm. Very interesting. There it is. Morocco versus Carthage. Oh, man. Oh, man. And Byzantium has joined in. If they get open borders, Byzantium is going to mess stuff up. Byzantium is so strong. So much stronger than people are expecting. Look at all those boats. Look at all their unique boats. They're going to mess up the capital if they're able to get open borders through these nations. Wow. 
Oh my gosh, wow. And Byzantium is actually this, wow, they're producing so many hammers compared to the rest of the world, compared to the Ottomans, Austria, the Netherlands, Denmark, Poland, China. Wow, they're producing so much. How the hell is America still producing so many hammers? Yeah, world's busiest people. Dang. I, I mean, Byzantium, Constantinople is a good city. It's a good city. So will we see Carthage fall? This is going to be different, a lot different from the Mongolian War, which I don't think anything is going to really happen. Wow, Siam is actually very, very close. If India is coming over here now, oh man, the Indian War Elephant. This is going to be good. We've got two big coalition wars starting up. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.